Welcome back, Cloud9, 67 microbus, and last time I got it running, put on a new exhaust, driving back in, and dang near went right through the garage. Best bet, the bus brakes are bad, but should be able to get them fixed. Uh, the e-brake works, in addition, the pedal holds pressure, so I think the master cylinder's fine but the wheel cylinders are likely rusted and locked up so we'll take a look so this will likely be the hardest part this castle nut won't budge it's like an army sumo wrestler and I've tried a few different things on it but I'm thinking heat it up give it a couple of wax and a breaker bar Well, as you can see, that didn't do it. Believe it or not, couldn't get it to budge. Uh, bent a breaker bar, tried the heat to no avail, so I ordered up a 46 metric axle nut remover from Ampy here, and basically that goes on. We'll pull a breaker bar off of this side and I guess the, the hammering motion is the key. You can torque it all you want, but until you get that hammering motion to break it loose, probably won't have any luck, so we'll give this a try. We'll give it a whack. There you have it, we got the uh, drum off, and there's pretty obvious evidence of why the brakes don't work. I don't think that drum's been off in over 40 years. Uh, so obviously, looking into it, I'm going to have to start to soak all these nuts here, soak these bolts here, start chipping away at removing all these components, and I assume these cylinders are frozen, that's why we can't get any action from the brake pedal, but obviously it needs a full rebuild, and we'll clean up a lot of this componentry around here, looking to order new brake lines and such. So, let's begin the effort. We got the uh, brake assembly off of the spindle, and spindles usually are in good shape. They're pretty much indestructible, but what you can see is 50 years of road grime and grease buildup. So, work on getting all that knocked back off so we can get at some of these grease circ fittings, help uh, lube up this front beam, and obviously get stuff ready like these shock mounts have to be loosened up shocks on it and order some brake repair and reassembly parts.
job is finished. All that's left to do is to torque down this axle nut. Got to get it to 230 foot pounds. And to do that, I highly recommend MP's axle nut tool. That was a breaker bar, and then you can just hammer down. And once you get that cotter pin aligned, you should be good to go. Last step.